Amen. 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 How to be thankful all the time. The ways this morning I'd like to share with you which ways and what ways and how you can be thankful to God all the time. Even when life is difficult. Amen. Amen. Giving thanks in all circumstances. First Thessalonians verse chapter 5 verse 18 says, Giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Bow your head in prayer with me. Amen. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are going to dig into your word this morning. I pray, O oh Lord, that you will go with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Teach us, O oh Lord. Give us the understanding of these words, O oh God. Enlighten us, O oh God, according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 As a young Christian, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, always disturbed me. It never made sense to me why you have to give thanks even when you're suffering. Why should I have to be thankful for things that did not seem good to me? As a young Christian, I always wonder about this passage. Amen? Amen. However, as I was growing spiritually, God's greater understanding, purpose of developing character in our lives was becoming clear to me. Amen? Amen. And generally, the problems is that we want to have a life without any problems. But that is not possible. Can anybody have a life without any problem? Bible says you cannot receive good without any bad. Good and bad comes together. When you receive good, be, be, be sure there must be some bad with it. But you can receive some bad and don't receive good with it. That's true. But certainly, there is no good come without bad. Right. Amen? Amen. So, there will always be difficult moments and if we have not learned how to greater, how, how the greater purpose of God have been worked, we will still not understand the reason why we have to be thankful. Amen? Amen. Then we become unthankful and angry towards God. Every time things go wrong, you want to say bad stuff. Every time things don't, don't seem right to you, it's all God's fault. Amen? Amen? So why should we be thankful for something that seems to be hurting us? Open your Bible to the book of James, chapter 1 for me. James, chapter 1. Please, James, chapter 1. Is anybody opening Bible? James, chapter 1, verse 2 to 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Consider it pure joy. Amen? Amen. Amen. James, the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12, 12 tribes scattered among the nation. Greetings. Trials and temptation will come, even when you least expect it. The storm of, the, of life will blow, even when you are unprepared. Circumstances will arise, even when you least expect it. There's no way we can live life without going through. There's no way we can, we can live life without, without passing through any storm. Some storms are, 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 are meant to, to test your faith. Amen. Some storms are meant to bring you out of your little closet, your hidden closet. Amen. Some storms are, are, are meant to wake you up. Amen. They are not meant to make you. Hmm. Circumstances are not meant to make you. Right. Storms are not meant to make you. But they will come to try your stand. Amen? Amen. Count it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you meet trials of various kind. Trials of various kind. Financial problems can be a trial. Unable to pass exams can also be a trial. Amen. Unable to get a, a, a husband can be a trial. 
Um, sickness of all kinds can also be trial. Right. Illness of all kinds can be trials. Amen. He says here, when you are going through all these trials, mm. count it all joy. That's right. Don't feel so sad. I'll tell you what. Here's the take. When you're going through trial, the devil wants you to bow your head down in sorrow. Mm. That he may take glory. Mm. That he may rejoice over you. That he may laugh the last laugh over you. But the Lord, the Bible says, count it all joy. Rejoice mm. in all things. Rejoice when you're going through trials. Be happy. Appreciate God even in your trials. You cannot afford to be sad. You cannot afford to be unhappy. Count it all joy when you when you meet trials, when circumstances come, when storm blows at you. Count it all joy. Amen. 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 For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. Hallelujah. Amen. If your faith is not tried, how would you know you're standing God? Mm. If, if, if trials don't come, how would you know when to run back to God? Mm. <laughs> trials will always come when you are about to stray away from God. Trials will push you back to God. Amen. Will take you back home. Amen. Yes, it will. And circumstances that you went through that did not kill you will make you strong. Amen. 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 And let steadfastness, steadfastness have its full effect in your life, mm -hmm. that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Lacking nothing. Isn't it true? That when you pass, when you take the gold through the fire, through the heat, serious heat, it comes out as pure. That's right. Gold is very ugly when you first see it raw. But when it's processed, that's when everybody would like to put it on. Mm -hmm. That's when everybody, it, it attracts every eyes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. When you went through trials, when you went through circumstances, when you went through tribulations and you overcome that, you become strong. Amen. You stand and you're, you're, you'll be in the right mind and the right stand with God. Amen. Mm -hmm. We try us, you develop endurance. Amen? Amen. 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 With trials, God will build the resistant, endurance resistant in a believer. It will build endurance in you. We try it. Amen. Amen. The encouragement here is simple. Be patient in trials. So that God's perfect work can be developed in our lives. Amen? Amen. When you're going through trials, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a haste to get things done. Don't be in a, in a hurry to find solution. Slow down. Calm down. And be prayerful. Roll with God. Roll with God. Roll with God. That means you change your role. Amen? Amen. You have to roll with God to overcome trials. Amen? Amen. The word of God encourages you to rejoice or be thankful when you're going through trials. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Be thankful. The trials that you may face may be big or small, difficult or easy, financial or emotional, or relational. It's all kind, all forms. Trial comes in all kind and all forms, all types. And it can come from every angle, in all kind of ways. Expressing thankfulness says to him, Father, we deeply appreciate that you are developing spiritual character in our lives. You rejoicing in trial. I know it's not easy to smile when you cry. Hmm. This is what it, it, is an oxymoron. I see heart. It's an oxymoron. Cry and smile. It's an oxymoron. Those two things don't go together. Mm -hmm. Those two things don't go together. It's an oxymoron. You cannot cry and smile at the same time. You have to stop one for the other. That's right. 
or else you do one for real and fix the other. You can fix smiling while you're crying, but to smile genuinely, to smile truthfully, you have to stop crying. You have to stop crying before you can really smile. You cannot smile and cry at the same time. No. It could be. It could be. Joy. It could be fake. It could be tears of joy. It could be fake. Oh, you call tears of joy is different. Tears of joy. Are you talking about sorrow? Yeah. Oh. That's a real cry. Yeah. When you're going through diverse circumstances, situation, you're not gonna cry no tears of joy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. You're not going to cry the tears of joy. The kind of cry the devil will put on that face is a real cry of pain, a painful cry. But the Bible says, count it all joy, rejoice in your going through. Be happy, be thankful. Amen. And you're going through. Because that going through, that storm, is meant to build you. To, to build, to develop the character of God in you. To develop the character of God in our lives. So expressing thankfulness, expressing thankfulness, uh, thankfulness, excuse me, thankfulness, says to him, Father, we deeply appreciate that you are developing spiritual character in our life. Amen. The word for rejoice means to jump for joy, to be exceedingly thankful for something. So the problem is how to be thankful for something that I am not enjoying. Mm -hmm. Hello? Amen. How am I going to be thankful for something I'm not enjoying? Where will the smile of joy come from? Where will the tear, you will the tear of joy come from? Mm. When he break, when he help you? Do you understand? What does the word thankful actually mean? The word thankful means being grateful and expressing appreciation to someone for what they are doing for us. However, we must learn to be very thankful to God for all of the trying and difficult moments that he allows our life in our lives. All of the trials and difficult moments that God allows us to go through, we still must thank him for it. Amen? Amen. From January to December. January, you did not fall sick. Mm -hmm. Just like I was reminding my daughter this morning, February didn't fall sick. Your only sickness is a headache. You can grab anything in the store. You can use uh, home medicine and just get well. You are not tied down in the hospital. Right. You are not restrained to the bed in the hospital. You did not get sick. To the extent I will be looking for blood or looking for heart or looking for kidney. You do not get sick to the extent that you have to stay in the hospital and people will be coming to visit you. Isn't God good, somebody? Yes. I'm not saying those who are in that situation, are, we are better than them. No, we are not. The Bible says that it is by grace, which is the unmerited favor, the favor that we don't deserve. It is by grace that we are saved. It's not because of what we do or what we know how to do or how we are, or the way we look, it is the gift that God intentionally bestowed upon us. By grace we were saved. We were kept alive to testify. We were kept alive to 